Good morning, everybody. This is Misty from the K-Hall Group. And I had meant to shoot this video yesterday, but um, I ended up not doing it. So here it is today. We're going to take a look at some of the new equipment that we got and uh, discuss some things that, uh, I don't know, might be happening. <laughs> Let's take a look. Um, So we constantly get complaints about using our cell phones on our investigation. So I ordered three cameras. These little guys right here are battery powered. Let's take a look at these. Ooh, 16 megapixel. Ooh, HD. Ooh, 8x digital zoom. <laughs> so we got two of those. And then I got this little baby right here. I like this one. Oh, this is one hand. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, there we go. All right, so, wow, what's this? It supports 32 gigs of memory, 1080p, CMOS sensor, up to 10 times more steady. So this is the bad boy that I need. Everybody always complains that my videos are making them sick or I'm rocking around too much and, and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of what it looks like. And this bad boy Woo spins around like that. Yay. I got the lens cover on there. So, so that's our new cameras excited about those and then we have these bad boys these are some high powered flashlights so let me turn off my camera light and let's go take a look at these all right let's go i know it's kind of light in my house right now so let me uh see what i'm gonna do to kind of darken some of this stuff up here i'll tell you what here let's just come right here so that's pretty dark in there that's the bathroom let's just light it up Woo -hoo -hoo! Light that bad boy up. And then these things have a uh, zoom capability too. So we can narrow that or we can open it up. And it's actually going to be really cool with those new cameras because I found that I can actually hold it over to the side of the camera. And uh, it adds light directly to the focal point of the camera. So it'll, it'll be a lot like this. Yeah. So here's no light. With the light. All right, last but not least, whoops, let me get these guys out of the way. We have an old school radio. I do not have batteries in this yet. I didn't want to just leave the batteries sitting in this to corrode and all that stuff, but um, here we got our antenna, and here's our AM FM selector, and then over here on the side, we've got tuning and volume. So this is going to be used for EVPs. Now Andrew from Proving Demons has a radio similar to this that he uses. Um, and it's funny because he kind of carries it around like a little baby. <laughs> so I'm kind of excited to try this out um, the next time we go out and see what kind of EVPs we get. So that's the new equipment that we got. Yay! Now, for everybody that's been complaining, you have to understand something. We are a family in Arizona, living off a very limited budget right now because Marianne is the only one working. I am on disability right now due to an injury that I sustained while working as an emergency medical technician on an ambulance. I injured my shoulder, my left shoulder, and I tore the rotator cuff back in May of last year. Um, I had surgery in September of last year and I am still not back to work. Um, I just visited a new doctor last week and I have another MRI of my shoulder scheduled for Monday uh, because there's just something not right with it. Um, this, I can barely do that. That hurts really freaking bad. And that's not a good thing. Um, when I'm in a resting position standing in front of a mirror, this shoulder droops further down than this shoulder. 
So they don't look right. They don't feel right. And well, this one doesn't feel right. So, but anyway, um, we used our, uh, uh, some of our income tax refund to get some of the new equipment. And, um, I actually have another flashlight, but it's down in the car right now. Um, it's a big, long flashlight. It takes six, uh, double A batteries. Um, I bought that one, um, on our way to the Ashbrook wash the last time we went for the ladies night out. Um, these other smaller ones I ordered on eBay. Um, as far as our channel goes, um, we're going to start making some new video content for, um, Kyla. Kyla is not here at home anymore. She has moved to Iowa and she's working for NCCC. Um, it's a federally funded program and she's out doing some really cool things with her life right now. Actually, her first assignment's coming up and, uh, she's going to be leaving Iowa. Her, which is her home base pretty soon. But she's, she's been there for training, uh, right now. You got to understand she grew up here in Arizona and she's a true Arizona and she's a zoni. <laughs> um, and it doesn't snow here, <laughs> at least not down here in the Valley. It snows up North, but not down here. And, um, she's living in snow right now. And it's pretty funny. She had called, uh, not too long after she got there, she was cooking dinner that night. And, uh, <laughs> The fire alarm had gone off and she was in her slippers and she had to run outside and stand in the freezing cold sweat and snow in her slippers for uh, at least a half an hour, I think was what she said. Her poor little feet were frozen. So I sent her some hand warmers and some body warmers and uh, I have another care package I'm going to be sending her pretty soon too. But I, I'm going to wait until after she comes back from her, uh, her assignments because she's actually had two assignments coming up. So exciting stuff going on with Kyla. So right now it's me, Marianne and Vivian. And, um, um, uh, we're going to be taking some of our friends and extended family members out on investigations with us, um, make things more interesting. Amy, um, had gone with us, Amy and her mom, Amy is a sensitive and, um, she was one of the, uh, people that went with us to the Ashbrook wash last time we went. So, um, but the next place that we're hoping to be able to go is going to be to Globe, Arizona. And, um, we want to go check out the, uh, really old cemetery that's there. I know I checked it out on a ghost tour that I, I went on, but, um, I want to do a little bit more serious investigation than what we got to do that day. And, uh, the property that Marianne's parents own in Globe is directly next to a set of railroad tracks. And, um, uh, that property is also supposed to be haunted. Marianne lived there when she was a kid before their house burned down and, uh, yeah, she said it was haunted back then, so we want to see if it's still haunted. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> we've got new equipment to uh, start using to make our videos a little bit more steady, a little bit more clear. Um, got brighter lights, so we're going to be able to light things up a lot, a lot brighter. And maybe on, later on down the road after hopefully I get back to work at some point in my life, um, we'll be able to afford newer, better cameras than what we have bought now. But again, um, I don't make any money off of what I do. These videos are for fun. Fun. You get that? Fun. <laughs> so to everybody that's out there bitching at me, just stop, please. I, I don't need to hear it. If you don't like it, then don't watch. You know? You know what I'm saying? I'm sure that some of the other YouTubers out there know exactly what the hell I'm saying. So anyway, that's an update. And uh, sorry I didn't get this posted yesterday. Um, yeah. Oh, one other thing. Um, so all the music that I put in my videos, um, I get from uh, different uh, YouTubers that post copyright-free music. Um, I just got hit with a uh, copyright claim on the Ashbrook Wash Part 2 video that I posted the other day um, for the closing song. It's called Step Up. Um, if you look in the video description, you'll see that I gave them credit and, um, I got that from a copyright free music YouTube people. So, um, I'm in the middle of filing a dispute for that because if I, I'm sorry, um, I have to have, you know, like a hundred thousand subscribers and so many views in order to get monetized. I don't see that happening to me anytime in the future. So no, I'm not making any money off of YouTube and I'm not going to let somebody else make money off of me. When I hadn't, haven't done anything wrong. I've been a DJ for over 20 years, okay? I used to own my own um, uh, business um, making mixes for cheerleading competitions. It was AZ Cheer Mixes and 
done a lot with copyright, a whole lot with copyright. So I know exactly what I'm doing and I'm not out here trying to break any copyright laws, but nobody else is going to make money off of my back. No, sorry. So anyway, that's it. That's my rants and my updates for the day. And, uh, ah, I'm going to take Marianne to the doctor today. She's been needing to go for a little while. And that's our, that's our fun for the day today. Just going to the doctor. That's what happens when you get old though. <laughs> anyway, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and, um, we'll catch you guys later.